gathered here today to witness and celebrate the union of Stephanie and Sean in marriage. They've come to realize that their personal dreams, hopes, and goals are more attainable and more meaningful through the combined effort and mutual support provided in love, commitment, and family. And they've chosen each and every one of you, those special and important to them, to witness and celebrate the beginning of their new life together. Today, as we create this marriage, we also create a new bond and a new sense of family, one that will undoubtedly include all who are present here today. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure in the most intimate of human relationships. It's the joyful uniting of two people whose care and affection and understanding have flowered into a deep and abiding love. It's about trust, friendship, and having a partner to share all that life has to offer. Those who take its sacred vows have their lives blended together into one. Marriage is the beginning of a new life a chance at fulfilling long-held dreams and an opportunity for great personal and spiritual growth. Marriage endures through the ages of trends and fads. Marriage thrives and continues to live as the promise of a beautiful dream come true. Marriage is not a place to hide from the world. It's a safe place to grow and become wiser. It's a place to evolve into better people so that you can go out into the world and make a difference by spreading the joy and the wisdom that you found with each other. Stephanie and Sean, may you now combine and strengthen your gifts to be offered as a distinct and beautiful gift to the world. It's hard to put into words all the things that I've felt, all the moments we've shared, and all the times that I just knew you were the person I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. You've been the one constant in over a decade of change, and while neither of us are the same person as when our journey began, we were fortunate enough to grow together with each other, through each other, and for each other. We've already spent over a third of our lives together, and we've recently started a family with our dog Stella, who sadly couldn't be here today. But as wonderful as our past has been, I'm even more excited for the future. As we continue to search for our first home together, I couldn't think of a better partner with which to share my future. I truly would not be the man standing before our friends and family here today without the constant love and support from you in every area of my life. Words cannot express how happy I am that we found each other, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. If you asked me 11 years ago if we would get married, I would have laughed. As 17 years old, I could not imagine how one person could shape the rest of my life so significantly. But falling in love with you was the easiest thing that I've ever done. Over the years, we've changed so much as a couple and individuals, but our love has only grown stronger. You challenged me to adventure farther, work harder, and dream bigger. I'm endlessly inspired by your passion, your curiosity, and your intelligence. Your unwavering love and support has been the key to my success and my sanity. I'm eternally grateful to have you by my side as we navigate the highs and lows of life. <laughs> I'm so lucky to have you as my past, my present, and now my future. I promise to always love you the most. But remember that today's ceremony can't create your marriage. Only the two of you can do that. Through love, patience, dedication, perseverance, through talking and listening and trying to understand, through helping, supporting, and believing in each other. Through learning to forgive, learning to respect and appreciate your differences, and learning to make the important things matter and to let go of all the rest. And now, you stand before this loving community of family and friends ready to acknowledge to the world that this is my beloved, the one with whom I choose to create the rest of my life. Stephanie and Sean, may the promises you make this day lead to the fulfillment of your dreams in a lifetime blessed with love and laughter and with wisdom and wonder. Sean, do you take Stephanie to be your wife, to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do you part? I do. And do you, Stephanie, take Sean to be your husband, to have and to hold from this day forward?
for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health until death do you part? I do. I'm Sam, Staff's younger sister. You probably could have guessed that. <laughs> Growing up, even though I may not have shown it, I always looked up to Steph. She always got good grades, played well in sports, and had such a close-knit friend group. She showed me that if you work hard for what you want, eventually you will get it, even if it does not come as easily as you had hoped. It's crazy to think about them starting at UConn was 10 years ago now. I'm so grateful to look up to them, and I can't wait to see what is next on their crazy journey. Hopefully a house, though, because I'm ready to be an auntie human and not just Stella. I love you both, and I'm so glad we were able to have the wedding. Well, first off, who waits 11 years to get married? <laughs> I've had this speech written for the last six years. The way it started for me and Sean, we were with one of our other friends, and we were bored one summer night, and we just texted everybody in our phones. So Steph's friend was one of the hundreds of girls who responded, and then we decided to go and visit them. I think me and Steph might be the only two people in the world who text each other happy friend anniversary every single year. Um, I, like, I feel like I'm part of the Johnson Reality family, and I think I speak for everybody where I say that, Sean, you found yourself a great girl. I was lucky to have been there when you guys met, and I'm honored today to be giving this speech right now. You guys mean so, <laughs> you guys mean so much to me. <laughs> you guys mean so much to me, and I'm happy for the both of you. You have no idea how much you mean to me. Congrats to both of you. the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, it is indeed my greatest joy and privilege to pronounce that you are now husband and wife, and you may now kiss. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Reale. Yeah. 